I pretty much sketch uh, wherever I am and uh, take my paints and, and my pens with me when I'm, when I'm traveling all over the place. My inspiration comes from whatever is in front of me. There would be something about it with the shape, the shadow, the color, the line that I go, oh, that's interesting. And I, and I can tell when my fingers start to itch <laughs> a little bit. You know, Facebook is a problem for me because people post photographs from all of their travels and, and most recently someone posted a photograph of an, an alleyway with shops and plants and so on from Madrid and I went, ooh, got to get there, got to try that. My name is Patricia Katz and in my working life so far mostly I've been a speaker and a writer and most recently uh, an artist. Developing my skills as an artist uh, and getting involved in art actually is something that is kind of new to me in the last 15 years or so. So I started looking around for what would be juicy and exciting to get engaged in. And I've always been involved in color and design and in different ways, but never really done any painting. And I stumbled across a, an ad for a five-day watercolor workshop, so I signed up. But I also had the itch. I was. I was hooked and really wanted to learn more about this. And then I intentionally set out seeking out people who could teach me more about this. Well, when it comes to painting and sketching, I think the best thing about it is that it actually keeps you in the moment. So it keeps me noticing things. I see things differently than I did before. I'm, I'm seeing clouds in a prairie sky or whatever, and in my mind I'm going cerulean blue with a little bit of Windsor blue on the side. You know, how, how would I make that color? Um, how does that light um, create that shadow? Um, all of these things are noticing things that I might just have blindly walked by before I, I developed this interest. It's something that helps me draw other people's attention to the beauty in the world. I think that's part of what the art offers. I pulled together some sketches from my hometown here in Saskatoon and published a book called Sketches of Saskatoon. The response to it was amazing. It's been very gratifying to see how much people have enjoyed seeing their city presented in this way. And those copies have made their way to Australia and Germany and all around the world as people share what Saskatoon has to offer. So that, uh, that's a delight for me to see that people enjoy the work, uh, enjoy the art for one, but also want to share this place and this expression of this place with other people.